It's easier now than ever to make serious money with Pinterest using AI, so artificial intelligence. A lot of the stuff you see on this platform now is artificial intelligence. So in this video, let's talk about how to do this. 100% AI Pinterest, right? We're going to build a website with 100% AI. We're going to create content, 100% AI. And as a bonus, I'm going to go into something that you haven't seen before. Now, step one is to build a website with AI. We are going to use Hostinger. There is a lot to unpack here. It's very easy. They are the sponsor of this video, they came to me, they said, hey, look, we have an AI feature, think it's a good fit, and I used it. And guess what, it is a good fit. It's like exactly what I do, but it's just quicker. It's easy, very, very easy. So check this out. I need a WordPress website when I build an AI website, right? These are my criteria. I like blocks, I like Gutenberg. Gutenberg is just like a variant of WordPress. It makes it easy. There's like Elementor. Eh, I like Gutenberg, it's the simplest. I need easy and affordable. Now let's pump the brakes for a second. You need to listen to this. Here's one of my pages, I'll get into this, but if you want to make serious money with AI, it's very, very doable for you to do this. Anyone can do this, but you have to listen to what I'm saying here, right? This is what a really good page looks like on Pinterest. There's ones that crush this. Most pages, you know, newbies don't get to this because they prioritize the wrong things. This page is getting like 3,000 outbound clicks a day. That's great. If you are going to prioritize the wrong things, you're not going to make it. And here's what matters. If we come back to this right here, all these things, build website. This needs to just get done. You need to get it done, and that's why this is perfect. If we use AI to get this done, it's not the most beautiful thing, that's okay. You can kind of spruce it up over time. You need to make sure you have WordPress. Blocks is great to make it easy and affordable. Easy equals speed, right? Stop messing around with your website for days, making it perfect before you get at it. Okay, let's have some fun. Let me show you how to do this. This is Hostinger, right? Pick your perfect plan. Why do I like this? It's easy. I need easy. I need fast. I need easy. Get it done, right? We have three different options. We have premium business and cloud startup business. It's where it's at. Why? Because it gives us the AI stuff, right? Just to highlight this, you get 100 websites. You're probably not going to need that many, but this is what's cool. Right here, do you see it? Free one-click WordPress installation. That's what I want. I do not like messing around with things that take forever to create a WordPress website. Just let's get it done. Then coming down here, this is what I need. I need the AI website builder. And then you have all these other AI tools on top of it. So if we come back up here, choose plan, I'll show you how to do it. And this is what it looks like. Super easy. You have different time frames. I recommend 24, 48 months. Why? Because you get a big discount, right? Easy. Come over here, have a coupon. This is the key. I'll have a link in the description. Type Jesse 10, apply, and you'll see the price go down. So you're going to use hostinger.com slash Jesse 10, and it's that easy. This is what it looks like when you have an account, right? We're going to come to website list. I've already messed around, created a few things just to test it out. Very, very easy. So now we're going to do this step by step. Number one, come over here to add website. Let's go to WordPress. You have different options, but let's just come to WordPress. Now click it next. We're going to have the option. This is what I'm talking about. We used to be accustomed to pre-built websites and themes. That's viable. That's super viable still. You can do this pre-built websites and themes, but we can create a website with AI. Let's do this one. All right, next. This is where it gets cool. I'm just going to see that down here, use temporary domain. It doesn't really matter for the sake of this video, but this is where you would type in your www.whatever.com. Use temporary domain is what we're going with. So now we're going to start cooking with AI. We have three different options. It's telling us, tell us more about your site. So let's do yellow house decor is the brand name. Uh, we're going to go with a blog. We have different options, business and services, blog portfolio. I bet you any of these would work. Okay, the yellow house. So it wants us to explain it. Decor is a website focused on interior living boho style uh, living rooms let's say kitchens bedrooms anything about decor uh, in modern times so what we're going to do now just like that let's hit create and voila here we are here it is this is like two seconds of work not literally two seconds but yellow house decor home blog decor ideas boho living style get inspired this is the home page this is better than probably 85% of the websites that I see of bloggers, right? I hate to say it, but if you're a newbie, you have no excuse not to use something like this, right? AI creation of the website. If we come to the blog, let's see what it did for the blog. Okay, blog, and then it's going to have the blog role, and it has, you know, customer feedback. We can edit any of this, elevate your space, the footer. We can edit any of that too. Let's come to decor ideas, see what it did there. Now, uh, the core ideas, Boho Elegance, it just showed us pictures, all AI pictures, right? This is great. This is really, really good. But the cool thing is, let's say I didn't like this. Let's say I just think it stinks. We can click here, see it down here, bottom left, create again, and I can edit it however I want. 
So very, very easy creation process. Now we're gonna jump into step two here in a second. Step two is creating content, but it's all hinged upon what? You have to have a website. And, and so many people are like, Jess, I don't wanna make a website. Well, now you don't have an excuse. It's, it's super easy. So you should be able to come up here, click this button, and it's gonna put you into the back end of WordPress. This is what we need because the next part of creating content, right? Creating content, we need WordPress. But I did misspeak a little bit. Let's go back to it. Let's see how it looks. These images, they are Unsplash photos. So these are stock photos, right? You can come in here and you can edit them. For the remainder of this project, we are not going to use stock. We're going to use AI images on the blog posts themselves. But what matters is creating a website very, very easily with, with AI. Now we're going to do step number two, create content. What do I need? I need fast, affordable. I need something that is cheap. And I don't mean like bad cheap. Cheap has bad connotations like, oh, this is cheap. This thing is cheap. No, I need something that doesn't cost much money. We need a website. We already did the website. We need fast, affordable cheap, right? So enter this right here, Content Goblin. We are going to use the image listicle tool. We're going to come up here, right? Follow along. We're going to hit integrations. Do you see this? We're going to hit account and then integrations. And you're going to be met with what? This thing right here. Very, very easy. All you have to do is type your URL in here. A URL is the thing all the way at the top. Do you see this? In my case, using hosting or I'm using a staging website, I just copy this without the WP admin. All this right here, copy that and paste it into this right here. We're gonna hit this create application password here. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna push us down. We're gonna have a new application password. So all I'm gonna do is say content goblin, right? And when you hit add new password, you're gonna literally have a password right here. Here's my password, right? I'm showing you my password. So this one right here, you have to copy because if you don't copy it, it's just gonna disappear. You're gonna have to do this whole step over because it kind of, it makes it so you can't see it in a second. So copy this darn thing, bring it over here, put your username in and the password and then hit add site. Now, after doing that, this is what you can do. This took us one second to do. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. This is an article, right? 10 bright yellow bedroom ideas for a modern look. This type of stuff crushes it on Pinterest. Layered yellow rugs for warmth. It looks nice. Keep in mind, this is the website, quite literally the website we created together on this video, right? Looks good. Yellow accessories for a fresh touch. That's not really my style, but ooh, that one is. I like that. This is what people do on Pinterest. They scroll. They they save pins. They really like, oh, these things. Well, what are those? And then it stops their scroll. And then eventually they jump to your website. But the cool part is, right? The cool part is we can inspire people, help them get inspired using 100% AI. That's what this platform is all about. Now doing this together, very, very easy. We can come over here to image listicle. We can pick which one we want. This is like the quality of the image. I'm gonna go, uh, let's go best for this. And let's say 10, what are we gonna do? Living, uh, let's actually do like 10 boho living room ideas, right? I could go all the way up to 50. I, I quite literally could do 50. There's reasons to do that. It depends on your competition, right? But let's just do 10 here. Uh, custom outline, no, we're not gonna do that. Advanced options, uh, we could do long. We could do section length long, so the words are a little bit longer. But what I care about is down here, right? What does Pinterest like? It likes long, tall images. 916 works perfect because every image we create on this platform, we can actually use as a pin. That's what's crazy. All those images I'll show you, we can use as a pin. So just to advance here, 10 boho living room ideas works for me. Let's hit create. Now pay attention to this. This is done, right? Remember how we said the section length is like longer. We had that option. So what we're going to have is the H2 heading. Oh, we're getting a little technical. Artistic gallery wall displays. And they look cool. They look really cool. And then this text is a lot of text. I like this. Why do I like this? Because when you have display ads on your website, the, the display ad, like the ad itself, is going to live between these pieces of text. It allows for you making more money, right? Let's just scroll through. I like it, right? And all these different things, like if I come back up here, this word, I don't know how to say that word. Maybe you can help me. Uh, wall hangings, but that's a keyword right there. That's a keyword. That's a keyword on Pinterest, guaranteed. People look that up specifically. If you do it right, you can focus different keywords with one article. Very, very good. Natural elements, plants, and wood accents. You don't know what's going to catch someone's eye. And what happens is it stops the scroll on Pinterest. It catches someone's eye. They pin it. They save it. They click through. You make money, right? But let's say I, well, that's cool. Rustic lighting fixtures with character. That is super cool. I wouldn't mind that. But let's say we don't like this. Let's say we think it stinks. Rustic lighting fixtures. We can come down here. Uh, we could say regenerate with prompt and you can say whatever you want we can just say generate and it's going to make the image different and there it is it's different i like the old one unfortunately it's gone now so be careful but you can regenerate if it's you know a little bit off what is this one this one looks like open spaces with airy ambiance looks great the point is what we can do now is come over to create wordpress draft right click this button click your website and then it's going to push it over to your website 
The next step is, you see here it says classic, right? Click that and hit convert to blocks. Do you remember when I was talking about up here? Let's come back here. I need blocks. I need Gutenberg. It's because a lot of apps work with Gutenberg. It makes our life super, super easy. But we are very, very close to posting this thing live. All we have to do is come top right, publish. Do you see above my head right here? You hit upload. And that's going to put all these awesome images on your server. You give it a second, and it's going to it's going to be a live article. And this is what it looks like when it's on the website. Good to go. It's that easy. It doesn't have to be complicated. Don't overcomplicate this thing. So coming back here, right? If you want to dominate on Pinterest, what do you need? You need a website. Now it's easy to build a website. You need to create content. Now it's easy to do that. The third thing that's a secret, it's this. It's this. And I'm seeing more and more of this, right? Multiple websites. Because what happens is I see it time and time again. People do this. They see a little success. And they're like, ooh, this isn't that hard. And they build multiple websites. Now, if I was going to do this, I would scale it out with Hostinger plus Content Goblin, right? So the business plan with Hostinger is where it's at. You get 100 websites. I mean, my goodness, if you're doing 100 websites, give me an email. Tell me about it. You probably need 5 to 10. And you can really be cooking with fire. So choose plan here. Remember, use the code JESSE10. And then with Content Goblin, I mean, between these two things, you have everything you need.